once she touches my hand, she gets fed. Now she does know that a lot of times treats do come from my hand. So that could be part of why she's doing a really good job of coming in, touching my hand, then getting that reward. But I'm not baiting her. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels, and we have Fox with us today. She is 10 weeks old, and we get the question a lot, how do I get my puppy to come when I call? So today we're gonna show you how we start that process, but first I wanna recap with what we've been doing with Fox so far. First step of teaching any puppy something new is to charge the clicker, which we've already done. And then we also were working on teaching her how to sit in her last video. And then since that video, which has been about a week, we've been working on um, marking that behavior and then starting to introduce the cue, sit. So I'm gonna first show you what that looks like, build a little momentum in this training session. And then we're also going to um, transition to starting that recall with her. So I'm going to set her down, grab my <laughs> treats, which is again, just her meal and then the clicker. So again, the clicker is going to mark the behavior, but it's also going to end the behavior. As you can tell, we've worked on sit a lot this last week, but I haven't asked for her to sit yet. So I'm just gonna get her to move her feet and then I'm gonna use that cue like we've talked about needing to start using. So get her attention, Fox, sit. <laughs> Did a little wheelie there. That was pretty cute. So we're gonna ask her to sit. Good. So in the previous video, we weren't asking her to sit yet. We were just marking the behavior when it happened. Now we can ask her, okay, to sit and give her the reward afterwards. Sit, good. So we've been working on this, okay, sit, a lot. So now that you can see when we ask her to sit, she's exhibiting the behavior. She's still getting rewarded for that. Um, now we're gonna move to what we like to do is target her for recall. So that will be, so she's doing a little jumping. I'm gonna just ignore that for now. She really is trying to figure out how she can get the next treat, doing some sitting. Then when I'm not giving her that reward, she's jumping at me for attention. Um, and she's just really trying to figure out how to get the next reward. So we're gonna show her how she's gonna get the next reward by coming in touching my hand, then getting the reward. So, so she dropped the little food piece. Um, I'm not actually baiting her. I don't have a treat in my hand. It's just touching my hand, then getting the reward. So moving around a little bit. Once she touches my hand, she gets fed. Now she does know that a lot of times treats do come from my hand. So that could be part of why she's doing a really good job of coming in, touching my hand, then getting that reward, but I'm not baiting her. Good. So we're not gonna reward any of the jumping up, but we're just pretty much ignoring it at this point. Again, I haven't started introducing the cue, whether you use come, we use the cue here for recall. And I think we're about to the point where she's exhibiting the behavior of coming to me really consistently when I drop my hand. So I can probably actually start to introduce that cue here um, right away. Whereas in her last video, when we were trying to teach her to sit, she wasn't consistently exhibiting that sit behavior. So we couldn't really introduce the cue quite yet. That's why we've been working on that for the last week with her here. So I introduced that cue, she came in, touched my hand, heard the click, got the reward. Here. Good girl. Here. So something that can happen when you start this clicker training to here is that your puppy might get a little bit clingy, we call it, uh, where they are just basically not leaving your side and that makes it really hard to continue doing recall. 
if your puppy won't leave you because we need her to exhibit the behavior of coming to us. And if she's just glued to my side here, that doesn't allow us to actually call her to us. So what you can do if your puppy is being really clingy is you can get a partner, which I'm gonna ask Ethan to join me for a second. He will need a second clicker because he also needs to mark the behaviors. He's gonna get a handful of food to work with. And then we're gonna call her back and forth between us. So I'm gonna get her attention. Fox, here. And she gets the reward from me. Then Ethan will get to call her. Fox, here. Good. Didn't wait for the reward though. <laughs> so Ethan's gonna give her a piece of food so that she realizes that he's going to be giving her rewards as well. And that's the important part about clicker training is that timing is so important in our training sessions and having that click there showed her that what she did was right and the reward can come after that fact. Fox, here. Good. Again, we want to try and make sure that she's not jumping at us for that reward at all or anything like that. So she you see how she went right back to Ethan? So she's anticipating this game already of, hey, I just run back and forth between these people. They're gonna give me a treat. Well, we want her to actually be complying with what we're asking and what we're expecting, which isn't just to run back and forth between us, but to come when we actually call her. Fox, Fox, here. Good girl. Good girl. Fox, here. Good. Fox, here, good. Fox, here, good. Now we're in a really controlled environment inside. When you start working on these type of behaviors outside, there's a lot more distractions to work through. So she may not be as focused, um, as well as if you have a bigger area that you're working with. We're pretty close here, here. Um, but if we were able to spread out in the basement or um, in the garage or something like that, where the distance is quite a bit further, she may not, here be able to stay focused quite as well as she is right now. So making sure to think about your training setup and your situation will really help. So Ethan's gonna give her the last of her food as a little jackpot reward. Now we've been working on sitting for her food and go ahead. Yeah, so she's, our ultimate goal would be that she can actually sit and stay until we put the bowl all the way on the ground. We're obviously not there yet, but you can work through that in stages. This is where she's at currently. Sit. We're going to hold that click. If she moves toward us, we can just pick that bowl back up a little bit. And I'm not going to get anywhere near all the way to the ground, but we will get a little bit closer than an inch of movement with the bowl. So I'll ask again. Sit. Good. My click was probably just a little bit slow, Maybe. but ultimately trying to mark as we continue to move down. So good job. So she gets to eat the rest of her breakfast now as the reward end of her training session. But um, we wanted to thank everyone for watching you know, Fox's training series. We're really excited about putting out this content for you guys. So if you're really enjoying following along with her, make sure to give us a thumbs up like our content, comment on it, share it, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, do all the things, because that shows us that what we're doing is something that is um, shows value to you guys, and we wanna keep doing that. And one of the most important things to do, important things to do, is to go ahead and add those notifications so that you guys don't miss out on anything. You can add notifications on every single one so that when we post something new, it shows you that that's there. Yeah, and also check us out on Patreon if you want early access to these great videos, um, as well as some other awesome perks, including one-on-one -on -one training help from us. We'd love to help you out that way. And for this video, 
As long as you're liking, sharing, commenting, doing all of the things, you're going to get entered in a chance to win one of these awesome Standing Stone Kennels tumblers. They are great for coffee or water or other things. But make sure that you like, share, comment, and we'll get you entered in one of these great giveaways. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with another great video with Fox soon. Mm -hmm.